write in the chat what are some of your biggest complaints in life and who or what do you blame my husband always wants to be right yes that's it people don't put in effort yes my complaint people don't like take responsibility for their life biggest complaint i'm not allowed to be a nurse despite being fully qualified damn good at it. blame the government yes my husband is too laid back i wish he was hungry motivated wow Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. What do you personally get out of this complaint? People, you need to stop to cut the croissant in two and make cheese and bacon. Okay. <laughs> French people. No, I'm true. It's true. Every oh my time God, I love having play. cheese croissant. <laughs> Sarah, I can feel your complaint coming out of you. Who do you Could blame you for that? American people, I blame you for that. I blame you for that. Mm. Nothing is sufficient. You know, ever good anything enough. you can learn. For example, I remember if I learned something new, it's just like, mm, it could be better. Mm. And what I get from from that complaint, it's a perfect excuse to not try and show why I'm capable of. I blame the culture we live in. So it's not really a specific group of people. General attitude of quick wins, of uh, hurrying, of uh, making a lot of money. So my line of work that is about slowing down, being mindful, moving slowly and uh, paying attention is kind of doesn't get through. You're trying to get through to them, but they're just not receiving you. So what do you think you get out of that? I feel that this is an excuse for me to, to give up. Like, oh, it's not going to work anyway. So why bother? What we get out of complaint has a lot to do with us kind of serving our ego. We're pleasing our ego, right? <laughs> That's what we get. So that can come in a form of excuse, blame, maybe like what I say more, oh, I'm better than you kind of thing. What is one way you can take complaint ownership of this complaint. I learned that complaining can be like useful in some ways such as identifying clarifying the problem or helping me get in touch with my pain and you know but I can tend to you know process it or intellectualize it away rather than fully feel it and use the complaining to avoid it and then but once I fully feel it and, and allow myself to go through all of the emotions then I can learn how to be more empowered so that I can learn how to identify choose to identify either with the pain or with a positive meaning I can attach to the pain. Complaining is actually good for me right now because I tend to keep things in mm -hmm. and like pretend that they're not an issue. And then that creates an echo chamber inside of me where the pressure just increases. My thing is right now, it's really, it's awesome and hilarious because it's like this complete picture of the consequences of that. And so the solution for me like it was really healing just to share with a small group and just air that out because that's what I'm really working that's awesome. on doing that, you know, like asking for help. It's like your complaint thing. is that you don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't complain. Without complaining, I blame people by not putting the effort that they should put. And the reason I do that is because I hate being uh, frustrated. I am addicted to accomplishments and success and I cannot stand being halfway through and just I cannot let go yeah. I couldn't learn that yet and I frustrate a lot what do you get um, out of that what I get I protect ownership. myself from frustration I need to learn that I'm responsible only for myself that's how I can take the ownership a neighbor down the way just put up the other day this ginormous like huge you guys huge cardboard cutout image of Donald Trump's face. I just got so uh. upset that this person is promoting hatred. But I blame the media. But in that moment the other day, I actually was able to see right away like, oh shit, I'm actually using this as an excuse to indulge in the division myself. And I'm hating these people that uh. are promoting hate. For me to take ownership, just sharing this <laughs> publicly with you guys. Thank you for letting me do that. For me, selfishly, so much of Night Owl has taught me about taking ownership again every time a new cycle comes around of feeling you know like not worthy worthy or trying to hide or or uh, all my issues and that you know reminding myself of knowing i need to take breaks to step out and need to speak up and the speaking up is the service and i'm so obsessed literally in my astrology and in my world with relationship that i'm realizing i don't like to leave I don't want to leave because I don't want to let go. But I also, as Ellie was saying, wait until the true wisdom that's necessary is going to heal the gap of whatever the gap is in the conversation, which is also true. So just working with that and realizing we're all dealing with 
jealousy. Hopefully it doesn't turn into envy, which is like a little deeper of a slide. So Did you say leave? L-E-A-V-E? -E? Yeah, leave. That's part of it. My complaint originally was about people always selling. I also learned I have to like sell, like meaning do what I do. Well, you've taught so well. Yeah, yeah. My complaint is pretty simple. It drives me nuts that when I'm driving in the car, you know, get this idea and I better call that person straight away. Otherwise I'll forget it because my brain, too many things on my plate, I forget stuff. So I'm very uh, spontaneous and can be impatient. <laughs> so so I'll, I'll, I'll call and then right in the middle of like this important thing, important, um, the phone call drops because the reception goes away. Drives me insane because we can communicate with people out in space and not just right down the road. Your complaint is that the, the cell phone signals are bad. Yes. To fully take ownership is not fully just 100% depend on the technology, right? We always like to use this, this phrase, set yourself up for success. If you want to make a call, pull over to the side of the road mm. and focus, right? or make Love it at it. a different time. So I know where I can take 100% ownership. All of you guys, you know how you can take ownership. You already know. <laughs> you know most of the shit is not about um, whether we know or not know. We, I think we all kind of know what we need to do. It's really, can we drop our ego and just do it? It's, it's been amazing seeing you guys. It was so, so fun. Thank you, thank you for your vulnerability. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.